Hey guys, I'm about to do some more tutorials. So I started a new project because unfortunately my previous one that was pretty far uh, deep was uh, destroyed with my laptop. Uh, but yeah, it's Unreal Engine 5, so it's time to restart some of the stuff and redo them all together. And I must say I absolutely love the new animation retarget tools in Unreal Engine 5. So I just started clean. Um, with a new project, added some content. You, uh, most of it is from the Polygon uh, Studio, from the Synthi Studio, Polygon Assets. So what we got here, let me show you. Uh, we got a simple game mode and we got a third person character, just the classic third person character, nothing more to it, uh, the new one. And I've added a mesh on top of it. So you have it attached here. So it's attached root to root. So it's exactly on the same spot. Um, you can see both of them, but this one is uh, hidden in game. So it's this option. So it is stuck in memory. It's being used, but it is not being rendered. And because it's not being rendered, the animation is not being updated. So to update the animation, you need to also check uh, optimization, visibility-based uh, anim tick option, always tick pose and refresh bones. Now, if we have that, this character is now using the standard third-person animation uh, blueprint. I changed nothing to it. And this character has animation blueprint that looks like this. And oh, actually, I don't even need this. All I need is use attach parent and set up an IK uh, retarget asset. And if I play the demo, I hit play. And you can see that this character is moving exactly as the new mannequin would. Jumping, landing. And you can see that his foot IK is flawless. It's exactly the same as mannequin and this character he is not using the uh, new mannequin uh, skeleton he's not using the old mannequin skeleton he's using his own skeleton that is partially compatible but it's, it's not really compatible uh, but thanks to this new retarget option it just works at runtime and i don't have to do anything so any animation pack that i import i can use directly uh, on the uh, like any animation montages, I can run on this mesh, so the money mesh, with the compatibility with the old uh, skeleton, and it gets automatically retarget to the polygon character. So no longer I have to retarget animations. There is no point doing that if I can do them at runtime. Let's go here. I made some improvements. I learned some stuff about it. So we got this. Uh, retarget and this retarget is just a set of chains that you map to each other um, and one important thing is that you should um, edit the pose that you have on the character so it in generally matches this pose but it doesn't have to be perfectly matching uh, to be honest if you have uh, the unreal a pose for this guy it's great if you don't uh, that doesn't really matter that much. It just has to, in general, match because you can do a lot of constraints on the bones that make sure that the elbows and the knees and everything uh, works as intended. So how to do it? We go here and in the IK rig, we got the chains defined. We set up retarget root and solver root uh, to pelvis, not the root itself, actually. But root is being handled here here as well yeah it is and then we have a full body IK solver that you can see here and I've added some new stuff so on pelvis spine spine and spine I just copied settings so to do settings you just right click and say add settings to selected bone and in those settings you just change rotation stiffness so you want pelvis to have full rotation stiffness it doesn't rotate and then I use the settings that are being uh, used in the uh, Unreal Engine 4 mannequin example. So this is the exactly same weights. And for clavicles, uh, also rotation stiffness is zero because otherwise your shoulders will just go wild and yeah, they, they really shouldn't. Um, 
and then you have uh, ties so both ties don't don't have stiffness but they have a preferred angle so previously you would do that by using the legs ik node to uh, make a ik legs correction and also set preferred angle uh, for joints but now you do it in this ik rig solver so for ties it's minus 90 on the z for calf it's plus 90 on the z it's same for the left leg and right leg so this is minus 90 and 90 as well and no more bone settings are required for this to work and <coughs> this is all the work that has to be done to retarget animations and you don't have to worry about it at all you just don't care about retargeting animations and you have a high quality character that is just using any animation graph that you can do for Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin, for MetaHuman, for Unreal Engine 5 Mannequin. Doesn't really matter. It can play any animation from any character on any other character. Uh, so yeah, I'll be working on this project for a while, doing some interaction, doing some, um, some gameplay examples. And I'm also at the same time starting a second project that I'll be working on a Souls-like game with gameplay ability system. So I'm going to do those two in parallel. And this one will be more of a survival one. So yeah, uh, I hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be all in Unreal Engine 5 and I'll be trying to use as many of the new techniques and um, new stuff as possible. Everything that I learned from Lyra, everything that I learned from reading the documentation. Uh, thanks for listening and see you guys soon.